Okay, students, I cannot tell a lie. First off, these are my tortilla chips. That's the truth. But I ended up actually cooking them another almost five minutes to get them where I wanted to be. And did I, do you remember me here telling you about the temperature of the ovens and sometimes the way they cook? This is a perfect example of it. So I used the time as a guideline, but I kept my eye on it. And what I'm kind of looking for, let's see if I can find one that's a good example. Maybe this one right here. It's hard to tell with these chips because they're already light brown, but I'm starting to see browning. Can you kind of, kind of see right in here? There's a browning that's happening. I use that as one of my, my um, guidelines. And then I also want to take and use the texture of the chip. When I pick it up, if it's still wiggly jiggly like a floppy tortilla, cook it some more. You need these to be crisp and crunchy. So when I take and break this, it's gonna snap. Ooh, and that's like delicious. The cinnamon sugar, mm, I'm gonna have to take a bite of that, sorry. Oh, that's good. All right, so our tortilla chips are done. Now we have the salsa to do. Watch this. Remember I cooked it a little bit longer. I, I just kept doing it for 30 seconds and 30 seconds and 30 seconds, and I checked them so that I had make sure that they turned out right. Oh, one more thing. These cookie sheets do need to be washed in hot soapy water. So you could take these off with your fingers maybe but maybe you want to go ahead and pull out your turner and pick them up and then just put them on everyone's plate so you can wash this, wash these down. If they're still really hot, you can always run a little cold water over the top of them and in your empty sink before you try to wash them, okay? Yummy, part two, coming up. All right.